Mr. McHenry was worried about his heliotropes. Don't seem well, he said. So Florence and Dougal said they were going that way and would have a look. You know, I've never really believed in heliotropes, said Dougal. Oh, why, said Florence. Oh, I don't know, said Dougal. The name, I suppose. <laughs> Can't take them seriously, really. Here they are, said Florence. Hmm, look a bit bent, said Dougal. Do you think they've been got at? The flowers did look a little strange and twisted. I think we've got a problem here, said Dougal. We've got the problem, said the heliotrope. What is it, said Florence. And the flowers explained that being under the trees, it was a bit difficult to get enough sun, and they'd all twisted their stalks trying to get out of the shade. We're planted wrong, they complained, and we're considering strike action. Yes, well, that should be interesting, said Dougal. It's all very well for you to scoff, said the heliotrope, but I'll bet you wouldn't like to have a bent stalk. Florence asked if they could help, and the flower said the only way they could help was to get them into the sun, and that was difficult. Yes, yes, tricky, said Florence. But, as she said to Dougal, something had to be done, or the garden would be full of droopy heliotropes, and that would be a bit depressing. Yes, you can say that again, said Dougal. Nothing worse than a droopy heliotrope. Of course, we could always dig them up and plant them somewhere else, but then they'd have to be watered and mulched and all that haughty cultural rubbish. <laughs> Perhaps we should give Fred Streeter a ring. What do you think? Florence saw Brian and explained the problem to him. Well, I don't see the difficulty, said Brian. Mm, clever boots, said Dougal. Florence asked Brian what he thought they should do. Well, as I see it, said Brian, you need a bit of sun. And they agreed that this was so. But uh, how to get it, said Florence. Yes, tell us that, said Dougal. We must catch some, said Brian. Catch some, said Florence and Dougal. Catch some, shouted the heliotropes. Well, you've heard of sun traps, haven't you, said Brian. Come on. I've got a feeling this is going to end in disaster, said Dougal. But Penelope seemed quite hopeful. I'm very good at sun traps, she said. So Florence asked her to trap some for them. And she did. Show me your droopy heliotropes, she said. All may not be lost. Penelope's sun trap was a great success. Does Bert Ford know about this? said Dougal. I don't think we'll tell him, said Florence. He may cry. The flowers were very grateful. How can we thank you, they said. Give us a kiss, said Brian. I hope we don't get into trouble over this, said Dougal. Why should we, said Florence. Well, we've nicked someone's bright period, haven't we, said Dougal. If it's here, it can't be there, can it? Oh, no, said Florence. Oh, well, said Dougal. <laughs> 